Ever found yourself wondering how to create a powerful investment portfolio? It is a question that piques the curiosity of many, and for good reason. An investment portfolio is more than just a collection of stocks, bonds, and other assets. It's a strategic assembly of investments carefully chosen to meet your financial goals. Think of it as your very own financial orchestra, with each instrument playing a unique role. The magic happens when they all come together, creating a harmonious symphony of growth and stability. That's the beauty of a diverse investment portfolio. It spreads out the risk, providing potential for greater returns while cushioning against market volatility. The importance of building a robust investment portfolio cannot be overstated. It's your ticket to financial freedom, your shield against economic downturns, and your ladder to wealth accumulation. So, how do you start this journey towards building a solid investment portfolio? Stay tuned to discover how you can start building a robust portfolio today. Scene Script First things first, before diving into the world of investing, understand your financial goals and risk tolerance. Imagine setting off on a journey without a destination in mind. You might enjoy the ride, but at some point you'll ask yourself, where am I headed? The same principle applies to investing. Without clear financial goals, you're merely drifting on the sea of finance, unsure of your destination. So, what are financial goals? They are the specific, measurable outcomes you want to achieve with your money within a certain time frame. These might include saving for a comfortable retirement, funding your child's education, buying a home, or simply growing your wealth. Your goals will guide your investment decisions, dictating what types of assets to invest in, and for how long. Now let's talk about risk tolerance. This is a measure of your ability and willingness to lose some or all of your original investment in exchange for greater potential returns. Everyone has a different appetite for risk, and it's crucial to understand yours before you start investing. Some people might be risk-averse, preferring safer investments even if they offer lower returns. Others might be risk-tolerant, willing to take on more risk for the chance of higher returns. Remember there's no right or wrong here. It's about what feels comfortable for you. Your risk tolerance will significantly impact your investment choices. If you have high risk tolerance, you might lean towards more volatile investments like stocks or cryptocurrencies. But if you're more risk averse, you might prefer safer options like bonds or money market funds. Understanding your financial goals and risk tolerance is like having a compass and a map before setting off on a journey. They guide your path helping you make informed decisions that align with your personal financial landscape. With clear goals and a keen understanding of your risk tolerance, you're ready for the next step. Now that you've got your goals set, it's time to research and diversify. Research is your best friend when it comes to investing. Dive into the financial world with curiosity and an open mind. Get to know the companies you're investing in, their market position, their competitive edge, and their financial health. Go beyond the surface and dig into their annual reports and earnings calls. This will give you a deep understanding of their business model, their strengths, their weaknesses, and their growth potential. Then, consider the wider market trends and economic factors. How is the industry performing? What are the emerging trends that could impact the company's future? What are the potential risks and opportunities? This broad perspective will help you make informed decisions and choose investments that align with your financial goals. Now, let's talk about diversification. Diversification is a risk management strategy that mixes a variety of investments within a portfolio. The rationale behind this technique is that a portfolio of different kinds of investments will, on average, yield higher returns and pose a lower risk than any individual investment found within the portfolio. Imagine your investment portfolio as a garden. Instead of planting just one type of plant, you plant a variety of them. Some may thrive in the sun, while others do well in the shade. Some may bloom in spring while others bloom in fall. This way, no matter the weather or season, your garden is always blooming. Similarly, by diversifying your investments across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, real estate, and commodities, you spread the risk. If one investment doesn't perform well, others might. This helps to smooth out the ups and downs, reducing the potential losses. But remember, diversification isn't about blindly adding more investments. It's about choosing a mix of investments that align with your risk tolerance and financial goals. Remember, a well-diversified portfolio can help spread risk and increase potential returns. So do your research, diversify wisely, and watch your investment portfolio grow. Once you've chosen a diverse range of investments, it's time to decide on your asset allocation. 
Asset allocation is the process of spreading your investments across various asset classes such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and cash or cash equivalents. The goal is to balance risk and reward by adjusting the percentage of each asset in your portfolio according to your risk tolerance, financial goals, and investment timeline. Imagine your portfolio as a pie. The pie represents all the money you have to invest. Each slice of the pie is a different type of asset you own. How big each slice is, or in other words, how much of your money goes into each asset class, is determined by your asset allocation strategy. Now, why is asset allocation important? Well, it's one of the key determinants of your portfolio's overall risk and return. Each asset class has different levels of risk and return, so each will behave differently over time. For instance, stocks may offer higher potential returns, but also higher risk, while bonds offer lower returns, but are generally less risky. Your asset allocation should reflect your risk tolerance. If you're risk averse, you might allocate a larger portion of your portfolio to bonds and a smaller portion to stocks. On the other hand, if you're willing to take on more risk for the chance of higher returns, you might allocate more to stocks. But remember, your financial goals and investment timeline also play a crucial role in your asset allocation. If you're saving for retirement and you're still young, you might be able to afford to take on more risk and allocate more to stocks. But as you get closer to retirement, you'll likely want to shift your allocation towards more conservative investments to help protect your savings. Keep in mind that there's no one-size-fits-all asset allocation strategy, it's a personal decision that depends on your individual circumstances. But once you've decided on your asset allocation, stick with it. It might be tempting to shift your allocation in response to short-term market fluctuations, but remember, asset allocation is about the long game. Asset allocation is a strategic approach that can help manage risk and enhance potential returns. Investing isn't a set-and-forget activity. Regular reviews and rebalancing are key. So you've done your research, diversified your portfolio, and allocated your assets. But are you done? Not quite. Investing is a dynamic process. It doesn't end once you've bought your shares or bonds. It continues with regular reviews of your portfolio and necessary adjustments along the way. This is where the concept of rebalancing comes into play. Imagine your portfolio as a garden. You've planted a variety of seeds, each representing a different investment. But as these seeds grow, some may grow faster than others, and soon your garden is out of balance. The same can happen with your investment portfolio. As the market fluctuates, the value of your investments can change, causing some to become a larger part of your portfolio than you originally planned. This is where rebalancing steps in. Rebalancing is the process of realigning the proportions of your portfolio to ensure it still aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance. It's about bringing your portfolio back to its original asset allocation, or adjusting it to a new allocation that better suits your current situation. Regularly reviewing your portfolio and rebalancing when necessary can help maintain the desired level of risk. It can prevent your portfolio from becoming too heavily weighted towards one asset class, which could expose you to unnecessary risk. On the other hand, it can also prevent your portfolio from becoming too conservative, which could limit your potential returns. Rebalancing isn't something that needs to be done every day or even every month. It's typically done annually or semi-annually, or when your portfolio drifts a certain percentage from your target allocation. The key is to have a plan and stick to it. Remember, investing is a journey, not a one-time event. It requires patience, discipline, and regular maintenance. Just like a well-tended garden, a well-managed portfolio can yield fruitful results. So don't forget to review and rebalance. Remember, a well-managed portfolio can help you stay on track towards achieving your financial goals. Creating a strong investment portfolio may seem daunting, but with these steps, you can start your journey with confidence. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We started by introducing investment portfolios and their importance in wealth creation. Then we moved on to understanding your financial goals and risk tolerance, the two key factors that should guide your investment decisions. We delved into the importance of research and diversification, highlighting how they can help mitigate risks and optimize returns. We talked about the allocation of assets, emphasizing the need to balance between different asset classes based on your risk tolerance and financial goals. And finally, we discussed the necessity of regular reviews and rebalancing to keep your portfolio aligned with your evolving needs and the changing market conditions. So, why wait? Start building your own investment portfolio today.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to help others on their investment journey too. The information provided in this video or communication is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not intended as and should not be considered financial investment, legal, or tax advice. The content is based on general principles and may not be applicable to your specific financial situation or needs. Always consult with a qualified financial advisor, accountant, attorney, or other professional before making any financial decisions or taking any actions related to your finances. Any investments or financial decisions you make are solely your responsibility. Past performance is not indicative of future results, and there are no guarantees of any specific outcomes or returns. While every effort has been made to ensure the accuracy and completeness of the information provided, we do not warrant or guarantee its accuracy, reliability or suitability for your individual circumstances. We do not endorse or promote any specific investment products, services or strategies mentioned in this video or communication. Any references to such products, services or strategies are for illustrative purposes only and do not constitute a recommendation or endorsement. You should conduct your own research and due diligence before making any financial decisions. In summary, this videso or communication is not financial advice, and you should not rely on it as such. It is essential to seek professional advice tailored to your specific financial situation and goals before making any financial decisions or taking any actions.